what we do here is go back, 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 back. back. Hey everyone, what's poppin'? I'm Tina Mendez of Project Origin Plus, and in today's video, I will be showing you how to make a planter's cheese ball statement jacket. I came up with this idea while I was grocery shopping, and as I passed by the snack aisle, I saw the planter's cheese ball on display. I mean, they're back, so it, it felt very nostalgic to me at that moment. And because of that, I wanted to create a statement piece using orange pom-poms as the cheese balls. I just love pom-poms so much. I think they're very cute and fluffy and maybe because it reminded me of the 90s Powerpuff Girls episode where the girls had a pet called Bebo. I initially wanted to make a cheese ball sweater, but because I couldn't find a blue sweater or because I didn't want to dye a sweater blue, I decided to DIY my mom's old denim jacket. This will be my first time doing acrylic painting, so please be nice. So without any further ado, let's do this. For the materials, you'll need a denim jacket, acrylic paint in red, white, yellow, and black, paint brushes in different types and sizes, four spools of orange yarn to make 12 pieces of pom-poms, scissors, pet brush, palette, water container, cutting mat, and an exacto knife. First, you'll need templates of Mr. Peanut, the cheese ball and planter's logo, which I got from Google. I used two bun papers for all of them because the size that I wanted wouldn't fit in one. After printing, I just attached them together using tape. I started removing the excess paper by cutting exactly at the border. I also removed the insides. I did the same for the cheese balls logo by removing the letters using an exacto knife and using the scissors to cut through the curvy areas. For the planter's logo, I did the opposite. I kept the letters instead of removing them and you'll see why later. Next, pin the cheese balls logo onto the jacket to trace the borders. Insert Mr. Peanut from behind and do the same. Remove all pins and set aside. Using a flat brush, we will be painting the base all white, so as to make the colors pop. When the first coat has dried, double coat until satisfied. Time to color Mr. Peanut yellow. I added a little water to the paint, mix mix mix, then apply using the flat brush. While waiting for the yellow paint to dry, we will start removing the white letters and sections of Mr. Peanut. I also did his face and this is how it should look. Once the paint has dried, start tracing the cutout sections. Using the thin tip brush, carefully paint the areas black just like the logo. Pin to place and trace the cheese ball lettering like so, using a pencil. Remove the pins and carefully paint it red. As you can see, I also added a thin black border to the cheese ball logo. Copy and paint the letter shadowing of the logo.
add yellow to the inner border. Trace the inner cutout of Mr. Pina using a pencil, then paint. I added a white border for Mr. Pina and retouched some sections. This is optional, you can use paint, but for my planters logo, I wanted to use a yellow felt fabric that's the same color as Mr. Peanut so as to add a different texture to the denim jacket. I traced the letters onto the fabric and cut them using my fabric scissors. For the upper part of the jacket, we will be painting the base of the border white first because we will be coloring this yellow later. Once the paint has dried, pin the letters to place. Sew the letters to the jacket by using a needle and a yellow thread. And this is how it should look. Next, we will be making the orange pom-poms as the cheese balls. I tried to find the orange fur balls that I liked online, but there were none. Even if I did, I didn't want to wait long for it to arrive, so we will be making our own fluffy pom-poms and here's how. First, take your yarn and clip it in between your pinky and ring finger. Then loop it around your palm 50 times. Yes, 50 times if you want your cheese balls fluffy and cute. Next, place a piece of yarn under the looped yarn, then tie it tightly to keep it in place. Do the same to the other side of your hand. Cut the loops on both ends and make sure that there are no loops left uncut. Don't worry, this isn't the final palm. We still need to trim the pom-pom short. While brushing the palm with a pet brush, grab your face mask. We will be needing it because there will be a lot of fibers flying around. Pinch the pom-pom so that there wouldn't be any loose yarn as you brush. Trim for excess fur. And this is how your orange cheese balls should look. Fluffy and cute. Next, mark the areas of your jacket where you want to lay your cheese balls. To attach the cheese balls, you could use E6000 glue or sew with a white thread. I'm using a white thread so that the stitches would somehow match the inner part of the jacket. Once you're done attaching the cheese balls, it's time to paint the white base border yellow. For the front, I wanted to color the pockets white with orange borders just like the old planter's packaging. For the orange borders, I mixed together the yellow acrylic with the red acrylic paint and added a tiny bit of white. Again, this is also optional, but I painted words on strips of fabric and will be attaching these onto the jacket with safety pins. I made the words cheddar, cheese, puffs, because that's what they are. And if you want something on the humor side, well, they're perfect little balls because that's what they also are. I mean, just look at the word little. It has a mini palm as the dot of the eye. You can pin these appliques anywhere you like, like on the sides or the sleeve area. You can also add a rip design to it. You can even make another style like this one. 
If a jacket is too much for you, you can also do this design maybe on a tote bag. I think it would still look cute. So much for watching i hope you guys enjoy this video hit the red subscribe button and the bell icon so you're the first to know when i upload anything new